Hi, I'm Macy Bullard, and today we will be exploring Keynote. It is a digital tool that can be used to present information in an engaging way. Here's how to get started. If you're just getting started with Keynote, the first thing that you need to do is download the app. Find your self-service app. Once you're in self-service, you can use the search tool at the bottom of the screen to quickly search the app. Type in Keynote. And once it comes up, yours will say install. Since mine's already installed, it says reinstall, but go ahead and install the app and then wait for it to download to your iPad. Once the app is downloaded, you are ready to begin. Click your new Keynote app. Yours will say get started, so press get started and then your screen should look like this. To begin a new Keynote, you will click the plus sign at the top right hand corner of the screen. It will then prompt you to choose a presentation. Click choose a theme. And it's here where you can choose what type of look you want your presentation to have. Depending on the look that you're going for for your presentation should determine which presentation theme you choose. I'm going to go with a basic white presentation so that I can show you all the different ways to edit your presentation. Now that you've chosen your theme, you're ready to get started. As it prompts you to type in your text box, you need to double tap to be able to edit. Once you've double tapped, your keyboard will come up and you can put in your title. Now that you've inserted your title, if you would like to make changes to the font, the size, the color of your text, that is stored in the paintbrush. But first you need to tap on your text, tap the paintbrush, and as you see, all of your text options are now listed. You can change the font, you can change the size, you can change if you need it to be bolded, italicized, you could also change the placement of your text. If you click style, this is where you can change the text box itself, where if you need a fill of color, as you see, I'm going to revert it back to just white, but this paintbrush is where you make all of your edits to your text. Once you have your text the way that you prefer and you would like to change the background to maybe a different color, you can do that by clicking on the box and click edit master slide and it prompts you to the screen where you're able to change the background to different images or colors that you would like. If you're wondering how to remove the white background in your text box so that it matches your background, click your text box, go back to the paintbrush, select fill, and on the preset option, make sure that you swipe all the way over to the no fill option, and that would allow your text box to match your background. When you are ready to add more slides to your presentation, in the bottom left-hand corner, there is a plus sign and a square, Click that and you are able to add your next slide. It also allows other options that you can edit. So you know how to edit your text in your presentation. Now you're ready to add some images. The first thing that you're gonna do is go to Safari and search whatever image you are looking for. I'm gonna add an image for second grade. So once you find the image that you like, tap the image, hold down on the image and the option will come up to add to photos. Once you've done that, it is now in your photos and can easily be added to your Keynote. I'm gonna go back to my Keynote presentation and click the plus in the right-hand corner and tap photo or video. Once I'm there, I can click my image and it is now in my Keynote. Now that you've inserted all of your text, all of your images, now it's time to add those final touches to your presentation to make it most engaging and interactive with your audience. My favorite and the most fun way to do that is to add transitions to your slides. To add transitions to your slides, tap the slide and the second to last option says transition. Once you tap transition, click add transition and at the bottom you will see all of the different options that you can add to each slide. 
to choose your transition, you can click on each one and it will automatically give you a preview of what that transition will look like. So you go through, you can look at a couple, decide which one you like best. I really like confetti, so I'm going to choose confetti. On my second slide, I will also choose droplet. And now we have some fun transitions added to our slides. Now that you've added those final touches to your presentation, it is time for you to present your presentation to your audience. The last thing that you need to know to present, just click that play button to the left of the paintbrush and it will present your presentation. To go to the next slide, tap your screen. You'll see our transitions are there and you have a nice, engaging, colorful, exciting presentation ready for your audience. So again, this is how to get you started with Keynote. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our other resources.